Hi, welcome to our protection dogs. So the following videos that I want to show you is how we selected Billy Bones and the test we used to select him. So there's many tests out there on the internet to show you how to select a puppy. This test we put together onto selecting a puppy, how to select a puppy that is suitable for us, the work that we want to do with that puppy. So in this video you will see how we test the puppy's nerves, we test the puppy for sound sensitivity, we test the puppy's prey drive, we test the puppy's uh, ability to bite, chase and bite something that is the, the prey drive. And the big thing is how quickly it overcomes the frights and the fears that it has as a puppy. So we tested the pup, uh, all the pups, in a area that they're not used to. And you would see that the, the testing was done on a slippery floor, so they were unsure about their footing. And this already put them on unease. Um, so we wanted to see how, that, how they overcome uh, these thresholds or these uh, tests that we put uh, for them. So please watch this video and like and also subscribe and if there's any questions regarding how we test the pups and what we test them for please put it in the comment section below and we'll get back to you on what we are doing and so that we can help you if there's anything that you're unsure of so what does sushi and puppies have in common absolutely nothing i like sushi and we yet to pick up our puppy billy bones so today is our big day uh, for picking up billy bones and uh we're going to show you some interesting things how we pick a puppy um so stick with us and let's see if you're going to enjoy this or not yeah, let's go yeah you can see he immediately as he came in started the engagement with marily uh following her around as she's enticing him to follow her he does follow her you can see the slippery floor he's uncomfortable with trying to go down the whole time to find to try and make himself more um stable but it didn't put him off. Over here, as she lifts him up, you can see the little tail is in a neutral position and a little bit wagging. Also over here, as you can see, he quickly doesn't want to be in that hold anymore. One of the only puppies that did that. Here he shows interest in the piece of paper. He doesn't really go and pick it up and bring it back, but there is an interest in it. And then he goes back to Marley for reinsurance. Over here we have the bottle with the coins inside, he showed a little bit of interest in that. As we took out the flirt pole, he started chasing the flirt and biting down on it. Marley's reaction over here as she felt the grip of him and immediately said that he's got a much better grip than what the other puppies had. And this interests us a lot. Kept holding on to it, as you can see. Also very uncomfortable biting the leather rag and not a material rag which you were used to. You can see here that he was used to playing this game by the pulling. Usually the pulling occurs when they want to steal it from their litter mates and kin. And also interested in the sounds. Here he's dropping the bowl. Initially he gets a fright. But then goes and investigates. Oh, bowl. All right. Popping up with the umbrella. He goes and investigates. A little bit unsure about it, but still investigates to see what's going on with this big funny thing that's in his environment. Immediately went up to Liam, taking food from him, engaged with him, and played with him. So as you can see, the puppy is quite actively involved with what's going on. Okay, so the reason why we choose Billy is he was the best out of the six pups that we could choose from. Um, there was a little, uh, some a little things that we did see that we didn't like in our tests, um, but something that we can work on. Uh, initially, he did get a fright with the loud sounds, all puppies will, because it's a new environment, new people that's over there. Um, but he is one of the puppies that was immediately engaged with us. He did get a fright with some of the stuff, but he went and investigated and overcame the, the, the fear that he had for, for the uh, dropping bowl, um, for the shaking of the, the, the shaker, the popping open of the umbrella, all these kind of things. 
The other thing is that if you could also see that when he was put into a position of lying upside down, he quickly wanted to get out of that. He didn't like that. He fought his way out of that. That is all certain things that was uh, good aspects. Um, on the video, you can't hear it because there was a lot of noises. But uh, one thing when Marley was playing with him on the float pole, he bit onto the leather rag and she immediately felt that he had a really nice little grip for a seven week old puppy. So that's the reason why we, we chose Billy Bones. So unfortunately it works out that you won't always get the perfect puppy. There is no thing like a perfect puppy or the perfect dog. Um, genetics does play a huge role, but it doesn't train a dog. Now it comes when you've got the genetics of a dog or you've got a dog that does have the ability to be trained like Billy Bones, we now have to put the time and effort into it so that we can bring out what the puppy naturally has inside of him. So this gives me the opportunity to invite you to stick around, to subscribe to our channel, because now the exciting and the fun things start. This is where we start training and this is what this channel is all about. The actual development and training of a pup to a working dog. Cheers.